In this video, we will discuss the SG2 on delay timer instruction modes. We will be using SG2 client version 3.4 and creating a new ladder logic program. Then select the SG2 12HR D model. In the first row, use a digital input, normally open, and select your timer coil in the last column. For our first example, we will use function mode number one, which is an on delay timer. Our time base will be 0 0.01 seconds, and our preset value will be five seconds, which is shown as 5.00. Our preset type is in for numeric constant. Click OK to close the edit coil window, and click the green run button to start the simulation. On our input status tool, we can select input one, and the timer will start to count to five seconds. When five seconds is reached, the coil will activate and stay activated until you release input one, at which point the coil deactivates and the timer is reset. If you release input one before the coil activates, the timer will reset and the coil will remain unactivated. Press the stop button to stop the simulation. For our next example, double click the timing coil to bring up the edit coil menu and select mode 2. This is an on delay timer version 2. Our time base is still 0 0.01 seconds, our preset value is still 5 seconds, and our preset type is still in for numeric constant. This time however, we will select I for digital input and 0 02 for the second one in our reset input option. Click OK to save the changes and click run to start the simulation. In our input status tool, we can select digital input one and the timer starts to count. If we deselect input one, the timer stops counting but maintains the time elapsed. If we select input one again, the timer continues to count from that time and at five seconds, the coil activates. When we deactivate input one, the coil remains activated until we activate input two, our reset switch, at which point the coil deactivates and the timer is reset to zero. If you activate digital input one and then stop the timer before it reaches five seconds and activate digital input two, our reset switch, the timer is reset to zero. Press the stop button to stop the simulation. For this example, we will select mode three, which is an off delay timer version one. We will then select one second for our time base. We will select five seconds for our preset value, which is shown as 0005. We will select N for our preset type, which stands for numeric constant. And for our reset input, we will select contact I02. Click OK to close the window. And click Run to start the simulation. On the input status tool window, close input one. Note that the coil activates, but the timer does not start counting. When you open input one, the coil remains activated, but the timer begins to count, and upon reaching five seconds, the coil deactivates. If you activate input one, and then deactivate input one to start the timer, and activate input two, the coil deactivates and the timer is reset to zero. This is because input two is set to be the reset input. Press stop to stop the simulation. For the next example, double click the timing coil to open the edit coil window. This time, select mode four. This is an off delay timer version two. Select your time base for one second Select your preset value for 5 seconds, which is shown as 0005. Select your preset type for N, which is numeric constant. And select your reset input for contact I02. Close the window by clicking OK. And click Run to start the simulation. On the input status tool window, close input 1. Note that this time, the coil remains deactivated and the timer does not start counting. 
when we open input 1, the coil activates and the timer begins to count. When it reaches 5 seconds, the coil deactivates. When we close and open input 1 again, and then close input 2, the coil deactivates and the timer is reset to 0. This is because input 2 is set to our reset input. Press stop to stop the simulation. For this example, select function mode number 5. This is a flash timer version 1. Select time base for 1 second. Select preset value for 5 seconds, which is shown as 0005. Select preset type of N for numeric constant and click OK to close the window. Click Run to start the simulation, and in the Input Status Tool window, close Input 1. The coil activates, and the timer begins to count. When it reaches 5 seconds, the coil deactivates, and the timer starts again. When it reaches 5 seconds again, the coil reactivates. This flash timer pattern will continue until Input 1 is deactivated at which point the coil is deactivated and the timer is reset to zero. Press stop to stop the simulation. For the next example, double click the timing coil to bring up the edit coil window. Select function mode number six, which is a flash timer version two. Select the time base for one second. Select the preset value for five seconds which is shown as 0005. Select the preset type to be N for numeric constant, and select the reset input to be contact I02. Click OK to close the window, and click Run to start the simulation. On the input status tool window, close and then open I1. Note that the coil remains activated, and the timer function is counting. When the timer reaches 5 seconds, the coil deactivates. This process will continue until I2 is selected. That is because I2 is the reset input. Select Stop to stop the simulation. For the next example, double click the timing coil to open the Edit Coil window. Select Output Type to be P. Note that the function mode is locked to number 7, which is a flash timer version 3. For T01, our first timing function, select time base to be 1 second. Select the preset value to be 5 seconds, which is shown as 0, 0, 0, 0005. For the preset type, select N for numeric constant. On the second timing function, T02, Select the time base to be 1 second. Select the preset value to be 3 seconds, which is shown as 0, 0, 0, 3. Select the preset type to be N for numeric constant. Click OK to close the window. And now click Run to start the simulation. In the Input Status Tool window, close Input 1. Note that the coil activates, and timer 1 begins to count. Upon reaching 5 seconds, the coil deactivates, and timer 2 counts. When timer 2 reaches 3 seconds, the coil reactivates, and timing 1 begins again. This pattern will continue until input 1 is opened. Click Stop to stop the simulation. For other SG2 timer instruction modes, View our videos online at factorymation.com slash knowledge base.